Morning, welcome to the shop. Uh, this morning, or today, we're actually going to be working on my entry to the Tri Maker Tournament, which is making a beer stein, which I am actually going to turn out on the lathe. I know I've made a beer cup before, but I'm going to throw in a little bit of extra stuff on this one just to make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, if you like what I'm doing out here, please be sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe button down there at the bottom, and be sure you hit that little bell notification over to the side, and uh, without further ado, let's see if we can't get into it. Alright, got some cedar mounted up on here, and all glued together. I know it's kind of whoppy jawed. I was able to go down and sand all these smooth before I actually glued them all together. I know there's a few little gaps in there, but uh, that'll come out in the finish in the resin that we'll use to coat the inside of it, but uh, several different size pieces here, including one which y'all have seen before with the that was actually my uh, little notch that I cut out in order to hot glue in the piece to make the Triforce ring. But uh, this is what we're going to be starting with today. See if we can't get it turned down into some sort of shape. And yeah, I know it's kind of whoopy jawed right now. You can see it right in here when it turns. But all right, see if we can't get started.
All right, guys, you saw me doing all the glue and everything earlier. I ended up uh, mixing in a bunch more of the cedar shavings down in it. And you can see where I've gotten some of it out there. Uh, got tired of waiting on all that to glue, or all that to the wood glue to actually firm up. So I actually scraped a bunch of it out, went back and did in with a super glue in the wood shavings. So, uh, matter of fact, there's still a bit of paper towel stuck on it where I wiped some of it off. But uh, see if we can't go in, smooth it all back out, get it all sanded back down. And hopefully that takes care of these uh, massive edge, the big cracks that I had in the middle of it here. So uh, let's see how she does. Apparently, apparently, four hours is not enough for that stuff to dry in there. Because, I mean, it's just throwing it all over me, all over everything out here. Hmm. That's some big gaps in there, too. So, I'll go back in with some CA. Fill in these cracks over here. See how that turns out. come back apart oh well might have to fix it with the epoxy at the end now see if we can't go in do a little bit of hollowing I do not have my mask on. Got my face shield on, don't have my mask. There we go. Alright,
it is now the next day. Well, now it's the next day. Uh, just filled in all the cracks with regular wood glue. Just got them all filled in there. So that's actually just going to serve as a make it to where it doesn't leak out when I put the epoxy and everything on it. But all that will pretty much go away as I trim up and smooth up the outside. But see if we can't go back in and do some hollowing. Almost down to there. I think that'll work out just great. So, move my tool rest around, clean up the outside a little bit more. <coughs> Matter of fact, before I move my tool rest, I need to take care of that. Nah, sandpaper will take care of that. Yep. Get the tool rest moved, clean the outside up. again. Hmm. That glue sitting overnight did not fully dry. Dried on the outside, didn't dry on the inside, so of course as soon as I start scraping across it, it just starts coming out. Yeah, run some, run, grab some five minute epoxy, that'll take care of all that goofy crap. But, the epoxy on the inside should be good. So, let's do some sanding. See how it comes out.
All right. Looks good so far. Except, of course, for the freaking holes and cracks and crap. All right. <coughs> Let me get the wood burner cranked up. I kind of want to leave those two knots, so... Let's see if we can't get it... Make that the handle. Turn it back here. Well, round about the handle. Means. Now, I'll keep them on the other side of it, and I'll put the handle over here. So I will have to do right here. This is going to take a while, so I'll be back. All right, guys, I forgot to turn the damn camera back on, but got a bunch of the uh, holes filled, and it's nighttime now. Got a bunch of the holes filled in. Got VFW Post Commander, because that's actually who this is going to be going to, is my local VFW Post for the Commander. And I've got the finish done with on the outside with Axe Abrasive Paste and the uh, both Axe Abrasive Sanding Paste and the Polish Restoring Paste, which that's the final coat that I did on it. But once again, I forgot to turn the damn camera on, which is just as simple as rub on the axe turn the lathe on get it off get the paste off sanding paste off and then get the uh then while the lathe is running at a slow speed put the restorer polish on and then turn the lathe up higher and buff it all back up buff it all back out but i mean it does leave a see if we can't get a i mean it does leave a pretty good shine and a pretty good finish on the outside of it if you can see right there Oh, and sand it up to a uh, 400 grit before the axe. So uh, let's see if we can't get it off here, get some epoxy on the inside, and then work on a hand. Well, damn. Try it again, going a little slower this time. I'm talking to myself. Well, to the camera. Just equal parts hardener and resin out of the Illuminite Amazing Clear Cast for half ounce a piece to make a full ounce. Then stir the snot out of it. And then ensure you scrape the sides. doing the insides of these mugs I don't really worry about getting the air bubbles or anything down into it because I'm gonna be pouring it and moving it all around and it's not gonna be that thick of a layer anyway so it degasses pretty well when it's real thin like that
And what it says is, stir until you don't see any swirls, and then stir for an additional three minutes, being sure you scrape the sides. Because you definitely don't want it to have globs of resin that aren't getting hard, hardened and everything like that in the middle of it. So. Take our mug. Lighting over here is horrible. I know. I'm in the way of most of it. But take our mug. And y'all. There we go. Just. I'm probably blocking half of this, but. Move you back around here. Maybe you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to take it, see it rolling around down there in the bottom. Just move it all around until I get an even, nice coat all around on the inside. Then let it sit for 24 hours, let it cure up, and do a second coat. All right, guys, got this thing done. All this duck, all this left to do is actually do a little bit of sanding and then. Uh, Finish the coat of epoxy here on the outside. My wife and my father-in-law and everybody kept bugging me saying it doesn't look right with just the regular finish on it. You need to put the epoxy on it so it's nice and shiny and everything. I'm just going to get dead. I like the natural look. They wanted it to be the epoxy. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead. Just got to do a uh, light sanding of the epoxy that I've already done on it. If you can't, you can kind of see it here in the video that the, uh, you know, down here at the bottom, it's got some runs in the epoxy from where I just had to brush it all on and everything. So go ahead and get that sanded out, get the next coat of epoxy uh, painted on over top of it, and then, of course, get the bottom here sanded up because it's kind of really screwed up. But uh, get that all coated in one more good coat and make sure it's nice and flat and everything, then get it on over to the commander of my local VFW up here in Boone. And if you do like what I'm seeing, or if you do like what you're seeing here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share button down there at the bottom. Uh, also, if you notice something that I am doing wrong, something I could do better, something you would actually like to see me make, uh, please drop it in the comments down below. I do check all the comments and all these. I don't just post the videos and then forget about them and leave them up until I get the next one out. Uh, I do like, to, I do try and get videos out about once a week. However, that doesn't always happen. Uh, you know, work gets in the way. Uh, work gets in the way. Family issues get in the way. Personal issues, you know, here at the house. We had something last week happen, which is why I wasn't able to get a video up last week. But uh, getting this one up this week. Already got one project planned for next week, and it does involve a little bit of resin. So, uh, and actually turning the resin this time. So. Uh, be sure you tune in for that next week, and other than that, we'll see you next time.